Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning in the buzz brought to you by the Comedy Connection. Now a new survey reveals that some parents struggle to determine if their kids are too sick <laughs> to go to school. Right. Now the survey from University of Michigan reveals that more than half of parents say they are more likely to let their kids stay home if they are unsure of the seriousness of their illness. However, a quarter of parents say they would still send their kids to school and hope for the best. Yes, the survey also revealed that two thirds of adolescents and teens are concerned about their grades if they take a sick day from school. Uh, just for the record, I never was. Were you ever concerned? No, not for a second. Now, the survey also shows that parents analyze whether their child is contagious or if they will miss a test when determining if they should stay home from school that day. Mm -hmm. now, we've all this seen is a Fer tough one. We've all seen Ferris Bueller's day off. Yes. You know, I mean, it worked out pretty well for him. Worked great for him. Taking that day off from school uh i never had to deal with like the uh the kids in the morning saying i don't feel good my wife yeah. had to because yeah. i was i was you know up already and out the door um but i do know that she didn't take you know it was it was like unless basically your lung was coming up yes you're going to school yeah you're going you know, to school you're going to school and then one of them my youngest god love her she would get to school yeah and then all of a sudden get you know not, not feeling well yeah so instead of having me or my wife have to go to school my wife would always say to her all right well that's fine why don't you just go back to class for a little bit yeah back to class for a little bit and then uh and then we'll see how you and normally and normally, and normally they were fine yeah right, right. The, the boys never have never tested me on this yes victoria at least two or three days a week tests really? me on this. oh my god all the time and so i told you guys today in the facebook live what i've started to do now is if she's like, i have a stomach ache i'm like you know we really got to get this checked yes we got to go to the doctor serious. we get and then all of a sudden we're miraculously better mm -hmm. but you know i think too with victoria I am the weakest link oh, okay. because I came down the other day. I said, Matt, she's not like feeling that well. I heard Matt go up. He goes, get out of bed. Right. Yes. Guess who was dressed and ready to go in 10 minutes. Right. So I know I'm the weakest link. I'm the, I'm the first one to admit it. And I'm the, also the biggest caver if the boys are at school and they text me, I have a headache. Right. I'm like, well, do you want me to call you out? Right. Like how sick are we? Have a drink of water. You'll be fine. And you're, you're mad. Right. Right. See? Have a drink of water. You're going to be fine. <laughs> Suck it up, buttercup. Oh, right? What then, are you going to do? You're going to be okay. What are you going to do? Brendan? Now you had to, your teachers were too, your parents were drinking teachers. water. Drinking water, right? <laughs> Do you have a headache? Do you have a headache? You, you feel sick? You feel Slight. fine? Slight. Yeah. Your parents Slight. were teachers, so they weren't pulling, they weren't falling for that. They, they weren't messing around. No. You know, no, accountability, no. you know, attendance, these things were very important. My father, you know, the principal, my mother, the teacher, it was, you know, like I was in school even when I was at home. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> but no, they instilled a good strong work ethic in me and taught me what it's all about to kind of be there and take accountability for your actions. Yes. But well, you know, I got a few times I was sick. Ill Gilbert right. got sick a few times. A couple of times. Right, too. you know, I mean, something. Yeah. I mean, you know, I would I would probably say I'm sick, but then other times I would, like, get to school. And, and listen, you shouldn't go to school if you're sick. No. I hate it when the stomach bug's going around right, and the kids right. go to well, school. That's true. How about these I'm like, why are you here? How about those heroes who come to work? They're, like, losing a lung, but, oh, I got to be there. No, right. you know, it's you're like, making come everyone on. sick. Your so. selfishness is downright rude. Yes. And that's how some of the parents are with their kids. That's if right. you're sick, stay home. Check in with our viewers. I have spoken. See what you have to say right here this morning. Dennis is up first in his household. He says it was pretty easy with a nurse in the household. There you go. <laughs> if mom and dad, they're a nurse. Well, you're not getting a fast one by them. Moving on. Who is up next here? Charlene says, I had perfect attendance. There was no staying home. All right. All the way. Each and every year. Perfect attendance. Up next. Linda says, it's been a while since our daughters were in school, but they weren't sick very often. Linda shares that in part. Excuse me. <laughs> Welcome to Roadshow Rehearsal. Joan is the last comment here. This is what happens when the prompter isn't matching the monitor, see? But we're back on track. Usually depending on what they were sick with. A simple runny nose or a slight tummy ache. They went to school. Anything more than that, they stayed home. There you go. Thanks for chiming in, everyone. And please keep those comments coming. And they might be used right here on the show. Follow us at The Roadshow, Facebook, X, and Instagram. Whoa, whoa, and we may whoa. use your comment right here on the air. Spinning, walking backwards. Oh, oh my goodness. Smooth.